Am I the butthole? For trying to prove to my parents that my sister keeps copying me. Posted by OK Scam and is 2821. My sister 26 and I 28 are not on good terms as universally recognized due to her bullying and selfish attitude which caused all family members to break off from her. My mom has a soft spot for her as she unfortunately does not get along with anyone and does not interact with any friends or other family members. I was a bit bothered last year when my sister decided to enroll for MA in my university which was in another country as to where my sister was living in and a completely different faculty from my sister's BA. I had basically already graduated so I did not mind as much and I left quickly. Fast forward to last year and she keeps copying my motivation letters. This year she gets a job at one of my previous agencies, also thanks to the copied motivation letters I presume. She says that it is boring and if things do not work out she can always just apply to a job with my current agency. Keep in mind that our CV are completely different meaning I am in the humanities and she is in the engineering field. She just keeps finding those odd jobs that my agencies had. The last straw was when I found out that she had attended a conference on the psychological effects of cancer that there was a speaker and topic completely unrelated to hers without telling anyone and by smuggling herself in as a participant who said she knew someone with cancer. I got this from the meeting minutes. I told my mom, who I have a very close relationship with, but she laughed it off and said she basically admires me and just wanted to get inspiration on how to be a good speaker. All throughout, I have confronted my sister and encouraged her to have her own life, while trying to persuade my mom to do the same as she is the only one who has influence over her. I am starting to sound like an evil stepsister according to my mom, and I do recognize that this problem is starting to become a bit of an obsession for me. My mom called me the butthole as I keep trying to prove to her what my sister is copying, though this is literally the only way I know to try to get her to stop. I found my growing butt sister at my university in another country, at my first job agency yet in another country and now in my conference is still in another country. Keep in mind that I do not believe the copying is being done with love, but with jealousy due to the several jealous outbursts she has had at basically every family holiday which led to the estrangement that was initiated by me. On top of this my parents believe it is cute that my sister is switching countries to try to get close to me while I actively avoid her. I'm worried this is borderline behavior from her as well, but my parents keep saying it is just her way of looking up to me as I am the one with a more stable life and working in the best agency. Last week my sister even checked out whether my building block had free apartments for rent in case she decides to come work for the same agency as you. I don't want to end up with her working on my floor for the rest of my life and sending my kids to the same school district as hers not because she is copying me of course, but because on top of it she has a bullying person I do not want to interact with. Though I don't know how to make this stop without sounding like an obsessive and bitter person. So what do you think? Share your opinions in the comments below. And now to the comments. Do you call on 666 likes to add? Not the butthole, honestly. She's coming across to me like a creepy stalker. Top leadership 1922 likes to add. Not the butthole, it's very enraging to prove someone is copying you. Harder is to get people to take you seriously when you speak about it. Happened to me. One of my cousins copied every single thing I liked and did and my family made me feel like I was crazy. Until one day his five year sister's tells in front of everyone my mom always says my brother has to be like X and have everything he has. My aunt was actually the one enabling him. It always comes down to jealousy, and it will hit the point where your sister will get tired or just fail at copying you and break down. I don't know that's how I see it. My cousin and my aunt gave up out of same of being outed. Slight Neil 5869 likes to add. You're not the butthole for feeling the way that you feel, but to think that you could be handling the whole situation a lot better. If I were you, I had stopped telling my sister about my life. Just completely stop. Tell your parents that you don't want her knowing anything about your career, location, etc. And if your parents can't keep it to themselves, stop telling them what you're up to. She can't copy you if she does not know what's going on. I understand that some people think that imitation is the sincerest form of flattery, but not necessarily for the person who feels like they're being stalked. Your sister is giving off some weird single white female vibe, so I can understand why you feel the way that you do. OP replied to that. Thank you, really helps. FYI, indeed I do not tell her anything but the information she gets on my business comes from my mother as we talk a lot. All good 177 commented. Not the butthole especially if you are low contact. However, I had stopped mentioning it to you parents. 
and put them on an information diet. She can copy you if none of them know what you're up to. Street Math 3000, 177 likes to add. Who do you think is feeding her all of this information about your life? You mom. Stop hand feeding her information. Dear listener, if you want to see more cute cats, please consider subscribing. It will really help the channel grow. Thank you for your consideration. To the next post. Would I be the butthole if I told my parents I would no longer care for my sister? Posted by Final Part 1663. First off, I apologize if my grammar or spelling is bad. English is not my first language. A little background, I am 19 and part of a big family. I am the oldest sibling and often my mother will pass on her tasks to me. Mostly anything having to do with taking care of my baby sister or most years, these tasks are almost everything. Changing clothes slash diapers, feeding her, putting her to sleep, and even taking her to and from daycare. The thing is I have started a new job with demanding hours and I also have my fall semester coming up. It would be so stressful having to manage both plus taking care of my sister. I have had discussions before with her to tell her that I will not be able to do all of that since that's her job, nevertheless I don't mind helping out sometimes as she needs it. My mother had abdominal surgery a few months ago and I have helped with taking care of my siblings through the time she was in a hospital even after since she couldn't carry heavy things or do strenuous tasks but now since she's been better I feel as though she got used to me doing all of her tasks and wants me to keep going with it. I normally wouldn't have an issue with this since I really love my baby sister and I love taking care of her and spending time with her, but what hurt me was when she admitted to my aunt her sister that she basically gave up on trying to raise my sister and has just left it up to me. My other sister heard her saying this and told me, would I be the butthole if I just stopped taking care of my sister? And now to the comments. A comment from Poppymosh98. End to. You're 19, live your life. Make your money, do your studies. You baby sister is not your child or your responsibility. It's a great thing that you dedicated so much time whilst your mum was recovering and you should be proud of that but your mum shouldn't allow that to now be the normal. In the nicest way, you are still somewhat of a kid to you at 19 and you shouldn't feel guilty for not wanting to be acting mum of a baby sister. Wish you were here, Minus 63 likes to add. Not the butthole from what you have written. It sounds like you are being taken advantage of and taken for granted. It's a tough world out there and it's lovely that your mother had you to rely on while she was in hospital, but now she's better she should be looking after the child that it is her responsibility to look after. You say what now commented? Even if your parents chose to have a large family, it's on them to care for their kids. Of course, family help family when needed such as recovery from surgery etc. But this seems far far more than that. The surgery recovery period is done now. Long the time, it's not okay for your mum to hand over show the entirety of parenting for your younger sibling to you. Parentification is the term I see used to describe this. If she didn't want to care for them, she should not have had them. I would have a conversation before simply stopping cold turkey and warn your mum that she will need to make other arrangements by X date, keeping this to a short notice period at which time they'll be handing those responsibilities back to her, where they belong. This in order to ensure they're no neglecting care from your sibling's perspective. That said, I assume you are living with your parents, and they are therefore financially providing you with accommodation, food, toiletries and so on. You may need to compromise and either agree to a fixed limited amount of care for your sibling in exchange for all of that, or that you contribute appropriately financially to the household instead. Wishing you best. OP replied, Thanks for your comment and I really like your idea. As of right now, we are on vacation and I am left in the hotel taking care of my siblings while my parents are going out and exploring. I really think it's gotten out of hand. It's like they brought me to travel with them as a maid, not as their daughter. I'm considering telling her I will be stopping taking care of my sister around the time my summer ends since I really want her free time anymore. I don't think she'll try to use the surgery card since we both know it's been so long since she had it and it's fully healed right now. I have nothing against my mother and I am always glad to help but I seriously think this is too much now. Slight nail 5869 likes to add. Into it all. I find it completely baffling when people have kids and are constantly trying to palm them off onto somebody else. Like, why have them if you don't want to look after them? Anyway, I think it's time to have another talk with your mum. Is the kind of person to pull the if you're living under my roof, you'll do as I say card. OP replied. Not really, she's not that type of person. I just think she believes I have all the free time in the world so she just gives my sister to me. Check out our playlist that summarizes all posts of a specific topic. 
You can find them in the description box. To the next post. Am I the butthole? For telling a guy I would trade seats for money? Posted by Evening Cycle 8122. I just flew home with my family from a holiday. My dad paid for everything. On the plane some guy wanted to switch seats with me so he could sit with his wife. I know my dad paid extra for our seats for extra legroom. But I am not tall and don't need it. So I told the guy I would trade him if he gave me $200. He got all offended and said I could just be a nice person. I said if he does not want to trade it's fine by me. He went away and I sat beside his wife all the way home. She seemed nice. My mom says I was a jerk to offer to trade places for money. I should either have said no or done it to be nice. But my dad paid for those seats so I don't see why the sky should get upgraded for free. Am I the butthole? And now to the comments. A comment from Oaks and Pina 1776. Not the butthole noticed he did not offer to switch places due that they were both in crappy seats. He wanted the extra room for free. You are not obliged to switch seats. If he really wanted to, he would have paid up. A comment from Country Master Sidemus. Not the butthole ha ha ha. I love this. When you pay extra for a better seat and some random person in the back wants to trade you are under zero obligation to trade. Why shouldn't they pay the extra? Recently I asked to trade seats with someone so I could sit next to my travelling companion. Say mile seat. They got to move one row closer. That's a pretty fair trade. But they didn't have to say yes. Purple Fox 71 commented. Not the butthole at all. I mean $200 is a bit steep but he should have paid for connected seats. I literally cannot stand these people who purchase the least expensive tickets with no assigned seats and then bank another traveller's generosity. I always pay for my seat and I am not going to give it up just because somebody is a cheapskate. Paris Darker likes to add. Next time I am going up to first class to tell them to be a nice person one by one. Try my luck. Beastly 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 commented. Not the butthole. This is hilarious. He said a nice person would switch just because he asked. Yeah, what he actually meant was doormat. Slayer Asher commented. Not the butthole. I've been hearing stories about this happening more and more, where people try to pressure other people to change seats with them so they can sit with their family slash travelling companions. Conveniently, it's you trading your nicest seat for their not so nice seat. I remember one lady in my row was getting on, and I got out of the seat to let her and I was in the aisle seat and she was in the middle seat, and she was like oh it's okay, we're all in the same row so you can just scoot into my seat. I was like, oh, no, that's okay. Like lady, I paid for the aisle seat so I can go pee easier. I am not getting trapped in the middle. To the next post. Would I be the butthole by not going to my sister's wedding? Posted by Antelope Deep 6626. I already went looking at tuxes with our dad, but then my sister told us dad couldn't attend. She said her fiancé does not want any disabled people at the wedding our dad lost his left arm several years ago. He said he's okay but I could tell he's still hurt. That's why I plan not to attend. I'm thinking to myself that maybe I'll take him to see the newest Mission Impossible film or eat at his favorite restaurant. Anything would be better than having him sit at home by himself. When I told my sister she was really upset. She told me I am her big brother and should be there for her on her most important day. Will I be in butt by not going to her wedding? And now to the comments. A comment from Pappy by 345. Not the butthole your sister's fiance is the ass a hole. Future Emotionman is 6,121 likes to add. This is the most effed up thing I have heard on the internet tonight. I think it should be very obvious that you should not attend this wedding. I see Department 1423 likes to add. Not the butthole. That they don't want your father or any disabled person to attend is so utterly disgusting. You should not attend and tell anyone you know that is invited why you are not attending. A comment from Yan Ainanami. Not the butthole. You don't have to support someone who supports discriminate disabled PPL. Make your dad happy, he probably deserve it more. Electronic Fox 6383 likes to add. Not the butthole, but your sister certainly is. Have a lovely time with your dad. Wayward Marauder likes to add. Not the butthole. You know who should be there for her big day, her father, but she does not want him there, so by extension she does not want or get you either. If you want more of this content, please consider subscribing. It will really help the channel grow. That is all I have for you today. I hope you liked it. 
Have a nice day and hopefully I see you soon.